it been a minute that I talked about Blattoon 3. It been two years that the game came out. We finally have the single player DLC and the game feels like it's coming to an end. But there might be a few small surprises or an update or two for the game down the line. I'm not going over everything in this video. If you are a hardcore fan of this series and hope to hear a pro player talk about the game, the competitive scene, and how every update affects everyone, you came to the wrong person. But since you are here, why not listen to me for a bit? The premiere mode for the game is still Turf War, but for hard gameplay, you have Anarchy Battle, Theories and Open, and Ed Battle. Players will play on mode like Tower Control, Blackstone, Rainmaker, and Clam Blitz. I still don't want to play Clam, and no one is going to force me. And for something different, you have challenges. It uses Turf War or one of the modes from rank with a twist. Like the tower being bigger than normal, using the Rainmaker in Turf War, everyone had to use the same weapon type and so on. But you can only play them at certain times. I feel different when it comes to how Flat 3 does rank. Making Anarchy and Ed Battle their own thing. The rank up battle you need to do before you can go up a rank. And everyone had one rank and it counts for all the modes. The only thing I do like is the casual or less stressful Anarchy Open. But Anarchy Theory, I have an issue with it. First, before you start the anarchy theory you must pay point the theory will end if you lose three battles or win five battles you need to win at least two or three battles for the point you paid for to make good progress you need to do better than that it doesn't sound bad but let be fair and real here Sometimes you lose three battles in a row or can only win one battle and lose three battles ending the series. Also, disconnecting count at a loss to the player that disconnected which made my or anyone else that chanted even worse. Speaking of disconnecting, it's game number three. Why is this still a huge problem? Or maybe I'm the idiot for assuming a game with a free in the title would have better connection than the game before it. And the game blame you if it keeps happening and give you a time out. Even when it was not my fault. Maybe it is better in free than two. But it's still a huge pain and it feels like nothing had changed when it comes to it. But the most annoying part of the anarchy theory is the match making for Ed Plus 0 to Ed Plus 50. A player at Ed Plus 0 can be in the same match as multiple players at Ed Plus 50 and I don't think the game does a good job of balancing. For example, if there are four Ed Plus 50 players or something like that in one match, the game would not do something like putting two of them on each team. No, the game would put all of them on one team or put three of them on one team. First did a team of low ranked players. How would that fare? And it doesn't help that you can't the other player leveled and rank so you don't know what rank everyone is at unless you are a friend with a person and can see some of the info 
Also, the rank of battle you need to do in Ed Plus. I can understand if this would change the matchmaking and allow players to fight stronger players and remove weaker players, but it does not. You are still fighting players from 0 to 50. Why have it if the matchmaking is still the same? And yet, I know you need to get to Ed Plus 10 to stay in Ed Plus. Because every free month, everyone rank will drop or reset. I know, but it still doesn't change what I said about the matchmaking. Black Fed have been going normal as usual. We had a Pokemon event to go alongside Pokemon Generation 9. The Pokemon game that broke my optimism in the main Pokemon title. We had a Zelda event to go alongside with Tears of the Kingdom. With Horning it, I mean Power winning. A Halloween event and a Christmas event. And a lot of food related events. Also, poor Fry. Fry only won three or four if we all count the flat fat outside of the USA out of 19. I'm not counting the final flat fat as a win or loss for any of the three or any repeat in the future. Speaking of the final flat fat, as you may already know, the final Black Fed had an effect on the net game. The winner of the final Black Fed is Team Pad. As for how this will affect the net game, it's something for the future. Tricolor Turf War still appeared after the halfway point in the Black Fed, and it's still the same 4 32 32 battle. I said before that I didn't like how it was set up. The winning team doesn't get to choose the mode and they are forced to play the mode at random. If you did have the option to pick, there was a chance the game will put you into a normal turf war match. Now, everyone gets to pick the mode regardless of who winning the flat fit at the halfway point and no one is forced to play the mode if he or she doesn't want to. Diamond Run had been getting normal update as usual. We did get two new King Bosses for the extra wave, a Dragon Light one and Joe. We're calling him Joe. I don't care of any official name. Do not talk to me. We are calling him Joe. However, the frame rate is still a problem after many updates. I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe it had something to do with the number of bosses on the level. I'm not 100% on that. Big Run had the same gameplay as Diamond Run, but the Diamond invade the city or I should Day, one of the levels used for Turf War. There are some good reasons to play Big Run. You get double fish scaled when fighting the King Bald. A multiplier is applied to catalog point, a figure for your locker, and increased payout. In extra work, you are still trying to meet the quota, but it is a bit different. This has five waves, unlike the normal free. All five waves are fit event. It start real easy, but the difficulty can go higher depending on the number of ed your team collect. And unlike normal and big run, you are forced to use the same one weapon for all five waves. Extra work does have it on payout and you are given a small reward based on how well you and a team did.
while did it fun and all i have an issue with the scaled payout and reward both of the time you are given anything but gold scaled when you're done fighting the king bald the chances of getting one of these is very low but now you can finally earn silver and gold one from the payout the only problem is why wasn't it here a year ago i have reached the max number on some of these food and drink ticket salmon run and the catalog keep on giving me the extra one these things are worthless to me and the game doesn't give you money or something else to substitute for the math out ticket so the game is basically giving me an empty item and some of these rewards are too much you would have to put in a crazy amount of time to get to some of the reward. If you are trying to get the one that require gold, I would not want to be you. I talked before in the previous video about all the grinding you have to do in Splatoon 3. Two years later, and I have a good amount of stuff. In Splatoon 2, I had a lot of money because of Diamond Run, and shop were not offering much, so I was not using my money. The extra capital and gear give you money or ability pieces, but when it came to Splatoon 3, the extra capital and gear in Diamond Run do not give you money. They only give you ability pieces. I had a lot of them and never had to grind for extra in battle because of Diamond Run. But when it came to money, I was not in a good place, even with the food ticket helping me earn more in battle. My money went to gear upgrades from the shop and did cost a lot. And I did not want to use my snail all the time. I have grinded every single catalog to level 100 and beyond, and I was not a fan of it. I was doing it because I needed something to do or because of FOMO. Also, I would not want to be a new player right now, this grinding might be a pain for them, and FOMO is not a great feeling. You can get stuff from a capital machine if you miss something from a catalog or if you are late to the party. By the way, it's all random. At least the game does not have microtrend action and that other stuff. To recap, the final real Black Fed for Splatoon 2 was Chaos vs. Order. Chaos was the winner, and as a result, Chaos shaped the world of Splatoon 3. However, the Order side did not go to waste. And here we have the DLC side order. You hear info about something odd going on in the plaza from the previous game you go check it out and something happened to you on the train ride you wake up at agent 8 the same 8 from the auto expansion you arrive at the main plaza from the previous game but it's empty and without color you meet pearl who is a drone by the way, and she is looking for Marina. The two of them got split apart somehow. The two of you hear Marina's void and go into a tower and come across some enemies which eight fight them off. After that, the two of you meet Ak, who is an old friend of Marina and offered a hand to save her. 
at the top, you see Marina being controlled by a machine. After saving her, you learn someone named Order is behind all of it before being knocked out of the tower. Marina explains she's been working on this project called the Manford, a VR world where everything is digital, and she explains why Pearl was a drone as well. They must stop Order from making a colorless world of order. People's minds are stuck in this VR world. If order is not stopped, he can take the will of each person in the real world from the Manford. Now you must beat the real tower. Once you reach the final floor, Marina and Order have something to say to each other and the battle is handed off to eight. During the first part of the final boss fight, the boss overpowered everyone by executing a reboot program and everything turned gray. But when everything is hopeless, a lucky moment happened, reviving everyone, and it gave a crazy power to get the job done beating Order, who happened to be a small guy. Aww. The story ends with the four of them returning to the real world. However, the job is not done yet. There are still problems with the Manford. You must beat the game a full run a total of 12 times using each weapon. During each playthrough, you get no more story in the normal way. There is some elevator talk and more talking with that little guy, but nothing too special. When you beat the game using all 12 weapons, it just ends. No special ending. Just stuff for multiplayer. If you want more story out of the DLC, you have to read through Marina Diary, which I will not Spoil in this video. As for the gameplay, in a nutshell, it is a roguelike or a platoon roguelike, if you will. These types of games are made to be random and never be the same for each playthrough. Each playthrough will always be different and random, but not unknown if you play it enough. If you lose all of your lives or don't have enough points for a continue, you start over from the beginning. Every run gets you pearls to you for permanent upgrade. You start off weak, but the more you play, the more pearls you can get to you for upgrade. You don't have to use the upgrade if you don't want to. You can make the game easier or harder for yourself. You need to beat all 30 floors to complete a full run. There are things to keep in mind for each floor. How to beat the level or the challenge, the difficulty, the point you earn, and the color chip enhancement. Also, be aware of the danger and bonus icon on some of the options. The bonus can get you more points, but it will make your job a harder one if you choose to do it. The bonus one is not required to beat the level. The level will tell you not to do something like don't jump or don't swim to earn the max number of points. But danger, on the other hand, is where the game gives you a handicap and does not give you extra points. The level would require you to beat it without the use of Pearl's help, make the whole level go dark, and so on. It is up to you to choose how you want to progress. But maybe don't try to play all the levels 
on easy or normal and do not avoid the danger option all the time because you might regret it later on the higher you climb. Color chips are small and not permanent upgrades. These 52 chips can do a lot of things like give damage to enemies when they are in your ink, make explosion bigger, boost your power, mobility, range, give pearl ability to do stuff for you, or to boost her own power, and boost your chance to make an enemy drop a item. At first, I did not like the DLC, but it grew on me. I'm not into roguelike games. I do not have a problem with the game always being different each time I play. Once I got a hang on it, I did not find the difficulty to be hard. The difficulty is a bit in the middle and much easier than auto expansion. Levels that deal with the 8-ball is not a pain in the butt, and if they were, the community would have something to say about that. At the time I made the video talking about all the games and when Splatoon 3 was new, I was super into the theory. But since more time had passed, I find myself wanting to play Splatoon 3 lead. The reason why I feel that way is because I have already been there and done that with Splatoon 2. Splatoon 3 is the better game and there is more and better option in 3 than 2. However, Splatoon 3 did not do the thing for me at Splatoon 2. I did play Splatoon 1, but not a lot. 2 was a game that was totally new to me and a new experience for me. I can still recommend free to someone. You will see me around mostly in Diamond Run and you might come across me, but Please do your job right, and please at least pad the first wave. You're at the highest ranking. Anyway, I think it's time to hang up my time with this theory. Unless something big happens, but I'm not counting on it. There might be a small deprod or an update or two for Splatoon 3 down the line, other than the repeat special Splatfed. As for Splatoon 4, I would want the game to be on Nintendo Net System a few years after the release of the system. I don't know what I would want from the game. However, that game is not going to be for a while. The only thing I can think of is I do not want to save the Great Starfish again. If I have to save it again, I'm going to be an unhappy person.